Hi, this is Rob from Workshop 12. Today I'd like to show you how to program your Arduino to control your LC202 relay module that we talk about on our website. First things first, let's download the Arduino environment. So on their website, we want to go to their software section and go to downloads. Then I'm going to download the Arduino IDE. I'm happy using the Windows installer, so I'm going to grab that. You could grab the app. I'm going to grab the installer. Here we get to choose if we want to contribute or just download. I'm going to just download this time. This takes a little while, so I'm going to speed this up. The next thing I'm going to download is the Brainiac firmware from our GitHub repository. Down here, there's the clone or download button. I'm going to expand that and choose download zip. I'm going to close my browser now and open up the file explorer. I'm going to navigate to my downloads and double click the Arduino application to install it. The video has gone blank because Windows is asking me if I want to install the application and yes I do. And I want to agree to the license. I do want to install all the parts. Default location is good. You may see extra prompts, generally for the USB drivers, which you should install. Done! I now see a shortcut on my desktop to the Arduino application. Don't want to start that just yet though. Now I want to unzip the Brainiac firmware zip. We're going to click on it then right click on it and choose extract all. This path here is going to be a little bit too long so I want to delete this section of the path. So now it doesn't end in Brainiac firmware anymore. So I click extract back into my explorer I see version 3, a folder and version 3, the compressed zipped file. That's great. It's exactly where I want it. Now I'm going to open the Arduino app. What you're seeing here is a brand new empty sketch. A sketch is a program to run on the Arduino. We don't want to use this one. What we want to do now is change the default sketchbook location by going to the file menu and into preferences. Your current sketchbook location may be different to this, but we want to change it. So what I'm going to do is select all of that, delete that text, then switch window back to our file explorer, double click on the Brainiac firmware version 3 folder. Now I'm going to click a little bit past the path. What I'm trying to do here is get the full path name for this folder see it. So now I can press Control c holding down Control and touching C to copy that path. Then when I switch back to the Arduino preferences I can hit Control v holding Control, touching V to paste that sketchbook location. Now when I say OK, nothing really looks any different. However, if I go into the File menu and look at the sketchbook, I can now see two different sketches, one for the BatBerry and one for the LC202 relay board. Let's open that sketch. Just going to tidy my desktop a little bit. Now that we have this sketch open, we can press the check mark to try and compile it. So it's done compiling, and there were no errors. That's really nice. What I'm going to do now is actually plug in my Arduino. Now I have to tell the Arduino software where the physical Arduino is located. So I'm going to go into Tools and choose the port. 
COM1, which is currently selected, that's incorrect. This COM3, Arduino, Genuino, Uno, that's what I want to select. On your computer, you may not have COM1, this may not be COM3, but if it does suggest Arduino in brackets, then that is most likely the right port. So I'm going to choose that port. Now I'm going to upload that sketch to the Arduino with this button here. You'll see while it's uploading that the lights on the Arduino go quite fast. Now we can verify if this is working by going into the Tools menu, choosing the Serial Monitor, changing the board rate to be 115200. If we see a message like that, the Arduino has identified itself as running the LC202 relay code. So that's all we had to do to get the code on there. Check out the links below for details on how to get the Arduino and the LC202 wired together and tips on getting it into your vehicle. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for watching.